Hello everyone, it's Patrick here and in this video we're going to be installing the EK Titan X Pascal on the 1080 Ti. Which is great because this is a Pascal card, this is a Pascal water block and it all apparently fits together. So it's great, they didn't need to create a separate 1080 Ti uh, water block, they just needed to continue with the Titan 1. So that's what we're going to do today, we're going to take off the cooling equipment from this, the damaged one as you can see here. And we're going to take the EK Pascal one and put it on. Let's just un quickly unbox it and see what's in there. Uh, I think there's a bit of stuff on it. So let me just cut that open. Alrighty. It just comes out like this. Nice orange box. I always like EK's um, packaging. It's always quite unique. Uh, quite good looking. Uh, very colorful. Very orange. Uh, so we've got some thermal pads. These are a must. This is going to be for all the little bits and pieces inside. So I'm going to put that there. Um, We've got some instructions, uh, which is good. We might just actually need them, but these are the most important ones we need. It tells you where the thermal pads go. So guys, if you are unboxing this, you will need this. This is a must. Uh, you definitely have to have one of these. Uh, the other tools of the train is probably uh, a nice screwdriver that you like and a bigger screwdriver just in case, but these are the small ones. We've got some tools. We've got some cooling liquid type stuff for uh, for the actual GPU. Uh, so we'll need that definitely. We'll put that just here. It's not cooling liquid. It's, it's you know what it is. You know what I'm getting at. Uh, I'm, just, I'm just super excited to be honest. And here is the cooling block. And wow. Wow. It is small. Wow. It's like not even as big as the card. Is, that, is there anything that needs to be cooled on this in this area here? Man, what's going on? Titan X. Okay. All right. All right. Look, look. it's supposed to work with Pascal cards. So uh, can't say no. So. Okay, okay, I'm a bit uh, confused, but let's get on doing this card because that's probably the most important and sort of most scary, I think, uh, for a lot of people. But it does give you instructions here um, where the screws are, which is good, uh, and you will need a special screwdriver to actually uh, remove it. And um, let's let's start. It doesn't even that doesn't even look like it. I guess that's the one that's black. But let's go ahead now. Let's see what kind of screws we will need. We will need very small ones, I think. No, bigger than that. These are kind of like stars. So, uh, well, not stars, they're kind of like stars. So I'm pretty sure I have a few. If I don't, I'm gonna be pretty darn upset. This one fits, no too big. Uh, ooh, there it is, I think that's the one. Yep, there we go. So start off by doing these screws, I suppose. But um, let's start on the back. I think the back will probably be a better starting point, uh, actually, because uh, these ones have just normal screws. So I've got that. This actually holds the uh, cooling ones. You can see there's springs in here onto the GPU, the main chipset of the GPU. So the Pascal chipset. And that's right here in the square area there. Now let's do uh, these ones. Now there is a few, there's a lot on the side, there's a lot on top, uh, so there's going to be a lot of screw and around here so let's start with this side oh, these are actually smaller so i'm going to need the smaller one So all you have to do is just turn it around and everything will just fall out, obviously. Uh, the metal shroud and the actual cooling unit. And there's that bent fin that I was talking about. Let me show you that right now. There's that bent fin right there. Look at that. Look at that bent fin. If you can see that. 
can you see? Yeah, you can see that now. Look at that bent fin. That's terrible. All right, well, nice block, nice fins. Let's move that to the side and get to the rest of this. All right, funnily enough, I actually found the tool I needed in a car kit that I had in the garage for a car. So it's just basically this, and this is a tool not everybody would have, but it fits per perfectly. It's a 3 8 uh, size, so it's just odd. I don't think I've seen a car like this have that special type of uh, screws. I mean, it's very peculiar in the sense that not everybody's gonna be able to un undo this. And imagine the costs you have to go through because you're only buying the water block. You're obviously buying all other parts to it. You probably also have to buy a screw kit, a screwdriver kit for this, if it's your first time, obviously. And even I wasn't expecting this type of tool to be needed. So that, that's saying something, even though it's not my first time. I've never had to use this kind of tool in a graphics card. Without it, oh, I wouldn't dare doing it with this. Hell no. So make sure you keep this safe because this uh, will need to be put back on one day. So don't lose this. So we're gonna put this away. I'm gonna put it back together. We're well, obviously gonna do it off camera. Now this is gonna be the fun part. And to this, I always actually use the uh, given uh, instructions because you don't wanna mess anything up. So we've got a couple of big pads. So it says, if, you, if we're looking at it, it's uh, actually, well, so it's got this one here will go here. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to cut. And that's covering up, as you can see, number three here. Number two is gonna be here, this area here. And and interestingly, you don't have to cover this one, but um, I might just put a little slip there. And uh, all these single ones will go on these ones, and I'm pretty sure they're all the same size. Yes, they are. So, let's start. All right, guys, this is it, the final build. Now, I'm gonna show you something. I was not able to get this back plate on it and the instructions do not let you get this on. There is an odd situation. There's a little bit of thermal pad on one of the items here uh, on the back, but you can't get this on without actually drilling through these bits. And that's something I'm not gonna be doing. I was able to get this on through the two screws over here because they were larger. So at least the CPU or rather the main GPU unit is covered. So guys, when you are using this, this is gonna be uncovered. It is not the best situation, but unfortunately it's just something to deal with when you're doing a TI build. Other than that, here is the built done and dusted. Everything seems to be nicely covered with that. And there is a little bit of, um, I would say maybe bendiness, uh, but it could just be a thing settling down. Once the pressure pushes it all in, all the thermal pads will fit. I had the same thing with the 980s. Um, they all felt a little bit different, but this is it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. I haven't found anything on the internet about the TIs uh, yet, so even I was looking out for a bit of instruction with this because, it, look, it's, it's quite new in the sense that I'm pretty much putting a, a non- 
well, one that really isn't meant for this bit or this graphics card, but sort of is because it's kind of the same card, but you know what I mean. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in another video and hopefully uh, we can get the next build going. I'm going to continue building because this is going to be a huge project. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.